Justin Bradford, Penalty Box Radio with you here. Time for another college hockey quick hit. We have David Fessenden. He is new goaltender for the University of Alabama in Huntsville. David, thanks for taking the time to talk with me. No problem. So let's go ahead and talk about this. Uh, what ex- excites you about going to play for the Chargers down in Huntsville? Uh, there's definitely a lot of opportunity down here. Uh, it's, it's definitely in an abnormal area, uh, but that's kind of what's special about it. It's in the, in the heat of the South, but uh, <laughs> we play a lot of great competition in, uh, in our conference and just looking forward to finally playing some college hockey. Yeah, speaking of the heat, a little different being mid-September and being in the 90s, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's... It's definitely an adjustment. <laughs> <laughs> Especially seeing where you played your junior hockey. You're probably not used to being this hot uh, this time of year. And, and you played a lot in the NAHL. You had a little bit of a stint in the USHL. How did playing in, in the American juniors, especially the NAHL with, with the generals, the Northeast generals, how did that help prepare you for your now college hockey career? Well, it's definitely a repetition. Um, in the all, you play a lot of games, see a lot of shots. And as a goaltender, that's what you, you want to develop and you want to see every different play and a couple times. So when you get to college hockey, nothing surprises you. Uh, it definitely grooms you. Uh, it teaches you like the hard times of hockey and the good times. It's an overall just uh, the best preparation for to move up in the level of hockey. In the level of hockey. Uh, that makes that makes perfect sense. And so, uh, obviously, college hockey has its own way of traveling and everything. You know, there's sometimes some long bus rides, things like that. Did you have that in the NAHL? What's that? What's the situation like when you guys have away games? Yeah, in the, in the East Division, uh, there was a lot of travel, uh, mostly by bus. Uh, we, and being from Boston, you're, you're always the farthest team away, so you <laughs> had to do some good seven-hour bus rides. So uh, definitely prepare for travel. It, it's a part of the game, so uh, I'm definitely, and also being playing AAA, you're, you're just used to traveling to, to play teams in different tournaments as well. Yeah, so now looking at this, uh, you're from Colorado originally. How, what got you into hockey? Are you an Avalanche fan? Uh, I am an Avalanche fan. Uh, grew up watching them. Um, what got me into hockey was my, my dad. He, he's originally from Boston, and uh, they grew, and my uh, grandfather also played hockey, so I just kind of followed in their footsteps when I was older, and uh, I was the only goalie in my family, so I tried that out, and uh, it's uh, stuck ever since. Okay, so now i got to ask, especially because some history of goaltending with Colorado. Who's your favorite goaltender? Who do you, who did you idolize growing up? That's a that's a good, well. Patrick Waugh is always going to be everyone's <laughs> typical answer. Right. But, uh, I also grew up watching uh, Peter Budai. Oh and, yeah. Uh, he was also a very athletic uh, goaltender that used a lot of technique, and that was always fun to watch. And uh, Theodore, uh, mm-hmm. I forgot his first name, but Peter Theodore was always uh, did a quick stint in, in the in Colorado and. That was always a, always a great uh, games to go to and watch. Yeah, so and, and got to ask too because here in Nashville we're we're used to tall goaltenders. Uh, Pekka Rene, obviously being very very well known, but also there's been Anders Lindback. Yeah. Those guys are like six 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 seven, and obviously your height is listed at six six. And it's one of those things that you've seen more and more big goaltenders. Ben Bishop being another one of those tall guys out there too, and able to utilize your frame, and utilize athleticism. Is that what you see yourself as? Is that you are a very athletic goalie, given your frame, where you cover a little bit more, but you're very athletic, and sometimes people don't respect that as much. Yeah, I definitely use it to my advantage. Of it's definitely a gift, and uh, it, it helps a lot when it comes into uh, being a goalie. But I like to uh, not completely rely on it, just mm-hmm. like Rene and Bishop using athleticism, especially with how fast the games become. Mm-hmm. It's become a big part of my game, and. Uh, just learning how to use my body correctly and just get into the right positions to make saves is probably the most important. It absolutely is. And so it's one of those things, where where would you say is, is your strongest asset in terms of being a goaltender? Is it one of those things where, you know, your glove save is ridiculous, you're able to stack the pads, you know, what, what would you say is your strongest uh, skill set of being a goaltender? I would have to say um, I'm, I'm positioning and skating. I'm a strong skater, mm. uh, but mostly I would have to say my compete level because uh, a lot of goalies uh, in that, at this level are uh, really good technique, but uh, when it comes down to it, I think my compete level sets me apart. Hey, I, th- I think you're going to make a lot of Chargers fans uh, happy with that. Uh, if there's if there's one thing that, that you would want – people to kind of know about you as, as a goaltender aside from compete level and everything uh what kind of style are they going to see out of you out there is there anybody you know you mentioned some of the different pro guys you mentioned uh Theodore and and uh Wah. is there any kind of 
player that you mimic a little bit, or is it kind of one of those things where it's your own style that you kind of meshed into your own? Yeah, I don't like to completely mold myself around uh, one player. I, I like to take little things, but I like to think I have my own style. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm really athletic, and, and I'll make the big saves when needed, and I'll make the simple saves look easy. But uh, definitely just to look at just some strong saves once in a while and just some <laughs> really heavy-hitting games that I'm uh, willing to compete in against big-name big, big -name teams. I, mean, I, I know everybody's excited to have you down there, and look forward to meeting you, David, and thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. No problem. Thank you for talking to me.